So right now, there are three tests you need to know about. Two of them test for coronavirus in an actively infected person. The other one is after the fact it tests to see if you've had the virus in the past. First, let's start with the two tests that actually diagnose the virus. There's the molecular test and the antigen test. Both are usually collected by a nasal swab. The molecular test detects genetic material of the virus. It's also called a PCR test because of the lab technique that's used. The bottom line, it's the more accurate test but can sometimes take longer for the results to come back. It can be analyzed on site within minutes, but sometimes that's less accurate. The other test, the antigen test, detects proteins that are part of the virus. It's considered a rapid test. This test is faster and less expensive than the molecular test, but can also be less accurate. Signature Care ER administers this test. They say a positive result is considered 100% accurate, but a negative result is 80% accurate. The final test is an antibody test. This is done after a person fully recovers from the virus, but instead of a nasal swab, the test is taken through blood, usually a finger prick. It's used to determine if someone has had the virus, but timing on this can be tricky. If you take it too soon, the antibodies may not show up. But this test also comes with a warning. Even if antibodies are in your blood, that doesn't mean you are immune to contracting the virus. Ongoing studies are still working to see how long immunity will last.